Did you know you can copy text from a photo on your iPhone? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Matt and thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, on my channel, I make videos teaching you tips and tricks for your tech to, uh, that help you live uh, more conveniently. So today, as I mentioned, uh, we are gonna be learning how to copy text from a photo. All right, so it's pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna jump right into my phone. Okay, so the, the photo that I have for us today is a recipe actually. Okay, and we're gonna pretend that we need to go to the grocery store, buy all these ingredients, um, and we just wanna make it easier on ourselves. So it's a pretty simple process, but uh, much like copying and pasting uh, on a normal document or a text message or whatever, um, you're gonna you're gonna come into the photo and you're just gonna press and hold on any text that you see. So I'm gonna start by this uh, canola oil up here. Um, that's where I'm gonna press and hold to begin with. And you can see that now the blue uh, area is showing that I've copied a little bit of the text. Um, and then there's these options. So now that I've copied some of it, we gotta use these little circles, okay, to uh, select the rest of it. So this bottom circle, the bottom blue circle, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna drag across all the text that I need, which is the entire recipe, okay? So now we click copy, all right? And now we've essentially copied our text. So it's it's like copy and paste in Microsoft Word or in an email or in a text message. Um, so now what we're gonna do though to make our lives easier at the grocery store is we're gonna put it into a note, okay? Oops, I still have this. In case you didn't know, this is a second take. Uh, <laughs> So we're gonna do it again. Um, so now we're here and we're gonna make it a checklist, okay? So making it a checklist is gonna make our lives really easy. So the button for checklist is uh, this third one in the middle. So you have the, the first one, the table, second one with the, the uppercase and the lowercase a, then the third one, that symbol means checklist. So we're gonna click on that one and now we have that circle popped up. That means we're starting a checklist. So now, I'm going to click on the blinking cursor one time and these options come up and we're going to hit paste because we copied our text earlier and bam, our recipe is here. Okay. Um, you might notice, let's see where it is. Some of the text, like all the text got here, but some of it thought that it deserved its own uh, item, line item. So for example, diced tomatoes was supposed to go with the, the one above it, the 14 ounce can fire roasted diced tomatoes. So you just click here, backspace a couple times, oops, and it'll work itself out. Um, it happened again here, store bought blend. So just backspace, cayenne pepper, freshly ground pepper, halved and sliced, All right? So, oops, so now, we literally have the entire recipe here. And so I like this method because before I leave the house to go to the grocery store, I can say, all right, I already have oil. I already have flour. I've got all of these spices already. Um, I have rice at home. Okay. i uh, just ignore that. All right. Um, <laughs> I've got... Those are the things I've got. So then, and then you go to the store, you walk around, do, 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 and you say, okay, I grab my bell pepper. Oh, it happened here too. Yellow bell peppers. I grab my bell peppers. Okay. I grab my celery, checked. And now it's just an easier way to walk through the store without having to remember, did I get the yellow onion? Did I get the diced tomatoes already? Um, you already know because it's checked off. So yeah, um, in case you're wondering, this is a recipe for gumbo. <laughs> Um, we got it from the Half-Baked Harvest Cookbook, which if you've ever heard of it, you know that it's massively popular. I had never heard of it until recently, and she's got an amazing following. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in that cookbook, I will link it down below so that you guys can check it out. It's a really good cookbook. We've made a couple recipes from it now, one of them being the gumbo, and they've come out really good. Um, so I'll do that. Uh, I'll link that down below, I mean. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments. Did you guys already know this or was that something new that you learned? 
Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and if you think you know anybody that could possibly benefit from this video, I would greatly appreciate you sharing it with them. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks.